my word. Ah, a wasp just went in my truck. Oh, this is not a good idea. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Jen from Jen's House of Six. It's another Saturday, which means it's another yard sale day. It's a sourcing day for me <laughs> for the booth. This is my life now. <laughs> my friend actually called me the other day and she's like, yeah, me and one of the girls were talking and we're like, Jennifer is just living her best life right now. <laughs> and I'm like, really, if you think about it, I am. But sometimes it's like, ah, I got to go yard selling every weekend. And other times it's like, yes, I get to go yard selling this weekend. So it's almost like a love hate. I, I, I think hate's too strong of a word because I don't hate it. I do love it, but it's hit and miss on actually finding something good or something that I like, I guess you could say. So it's not all bad. <laughs> Business is good. The shop is doing excellent. And I am so thankful that the Lord has just blessed it abundantly. And it is really I stopped joy. at, um, Oh my goodness, I'll have to tell you at the end how many yard sales it was. And I don't even know my total yet, but I will tell you at the end. And also, I'm sorry I keep saying this for my subscribers that faithfully watch, but if you're new here, I do not video at yard sales because it is private property. I just don't feel like that would be the right thing to do. And also, I'm usually in a hurry. I'm like hopping out, hopping in, looking going to the next one. So uh, I do miss my husband. He's been hunting the last two weekends and he's my driver. <laughs> we usually get up early on Saturday morning. I guess early-ish. We're not like one of the first people there. We're more like nine o'clockers. There's still good stuff to be found. Today I actually went to a yard sale at 2.30 in the afternoon. But you never know. It doesn't even matter if you're not there first thing in the morning. If you're there at 12 or 1. Um, when they're fixing to close up and you find something good, they'll probably give you a better deal because they're just like, I'm done, take it. It is so hot, you guys. It is the second week in October when I'm recording this and it's 97 degrees. My truck says it's 97. It feels like it's 100. I actually had a yard sale on Thursday and it was 104 in October. And I'm like, fall, where are you? <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> So it is hot. I am like, ugh, yucky, sweaty. My hands get so disgusting. I've washed them I don't know how many times today and they still feel like, ugh. I just wanna go take a cold shower and get clean, but I gotta haul all this stuff in and clean it. Anyways, I have talked way too long. Let me show you what I got. This cute little Louis Vuitton. I do not know if it's real. Also, the lighting is probably gonna work against me again today, but I don't know if this is real. I'm going to um, really look this over really good and see. It looks like somebody has sewed in like a new liner inside of it. So I will have to take that apart. But it, it may be real. It may not be real. It has like the little LV right there. It doesn't have any holes or anything in it. And it was only $2. Like... <laughs> How could I not get it? So I have seen people do like the hats and then they cut um, pieces right here or they'll do a bracelet out of this or like keychains. I was kind of thinking that or I might resell it. I got to find out if it's real or not though. I kind of think, I don't know. I want to say it's not because this is like lighter leather and this it looks seriously like real leather. So I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but for $2, I, I bought it. So I'm just winging it here, but aren't these so cute? They're salt and pepper shakers. You can see that right there. But look at them. They're just like hand painted. They're in really good shape. They actually still, oh, they're salt falling out of it. They still have the stoppers in them, which is cool. Uh, let's see what it says. Oh my, my leg is in the sun. It's the only thing in the sun and it is burning up. Um, I might have to move, <laughs> pull this truck forward. Anyways, I don't really know what brand this is. You guys could maybe read that. I don't know. Ah, I'm just dropping salt everywhere. Anyways, it does have a little chip right here on the back. 
but I feel like it's not super terribly noticeable. So you can see it right there. Get a pin like brown and just kind of marker that in. Because yeah, so cute. I love this these. for the booth. I don't know how well it'll do. I may spray paint this side. I don't know, maybe not. I might just try to sell it like that. But it's a bunt pan and whoever used it last did not wash it out. And do you blame them? Because these things are a pain to clean, but they're cute to decorate with. <laughs> So I don't know how well this will do, but I grabbed this. So my total, uh, I'll tell you the total at the end because I don't really know like how much everything was because she gave me just like this total hey for everything. guys, I saw one of these in the antique store and I had to ask like, what is it? It looks so anthropology and anthropology is copying vintage. Okay, so I asked and the owner said it was a glove holder. Okay, and I am just blown away by how much pride people back in the day took doing everything, like wiping the crumbs off the table with a little dustpan and a crumb catcher. That's what that thing was. If you watched my last video, this to store your gloves. Like, look, look how amazing. It's brass. Like, what? People just took so much pride in everything they did. And so anthropology is profiting off that, I guess you could say. But this is so cool. I'm not going to keep it because I don't really like have this style in my house, but it is so cute and I, I hope it sells well. I mean, there's probably lots of different things you could use it for, but like, it's like a mini hand that holds, I don't know, hankies, gloves, whatever you want, I guess. I don't, I don't know. You guys give me some ideas of what this could hold. So stinking cute. Oh, and it moves. Cool. It moves around where you would want it to my last item that I got from there it was like brand new in the box oh it's Avon I didn't even know it was Avon but it's crystal Avon cream and sugar look at all the detail on that it's like thick heavy but I thought this was so pretty and brand new so I got these for the booth ah a wasp just went in my truck Oh, this is not a good idea. That was my last yard sale that I spent $8 for all those things I just showed you. And I do buy some like boring stuff, but useful needed stuff. <laughs> Here's one of them. I spent a dollar on this. They were asking $1.50. I offered him a dollar. It's in really good shape. My son needs a new lunch pill. His is like falling apart. So I like to buy them used because they're ridiculously priced brand new. And I don't know why, but my guys just feel like they need like a million pockets and it makes their lunch pail so heavy. But this one has the pockets in the front. The one he has has a big pocket on the top and it just like sinks in. So I thought this would even be just a better design. So a dollar. This was an estate sale that I went to. I picked this up for the booth. It says farmhouse. You can see it has a $2 tag on it and it has little hooks right here. And then this is like a little shelf. So it's pretty good size. And then I grabbed this little mirror. Oh, you can see my little setup. <laughs> little oval mirror tray. And it has the felt on the bottom. And it's kind of a pretty silvery brass color, I guess you could say. I don't really know, but it's a good size. Let me turn it this way so it doesn't throw you off, but. Yeah, I think that'll clean up nicely. I am a sucker for Lazy Susans. I didn't know this was a Lazy Susan. I thought it was just a basket and it has these dividers in it. And so I was picking it up trying because it has this paper that says kind of like what it is inside. So I was trying to take this out and see and then I felt that it has this on the bottom. I'm like, okay, okay, I have to have that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is really cool. It's Peter Borough 1854 Basket Company. It says right there. So this might be worth some money. I really do not know, but it's in. I know it looks dirty, but it's just a little plastic piece in it. It's not. It's in really great condition. It still has like the tag or whatever that came with it. So I'll have to look that up. It might be worth something. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping it. I feel like it's like you could put so many different things in there and use it, right? It's a good size. I don't know. I may end up keeping this. 
<laughs> got this. I know this was a dollar. Isn't it such a pretty frame? I love the I love the frames that have like this neutral colored linen right there. They're so pretty and it's like really ornate and thick. And I thought the painting was pretty too. It has a lot of detail in it. So it's probably this part here, the whole thing is probably like an eight by ten, so this is probably a five by seven. But um, it's just kind of taped in there, so I'll have to kind of fix that up a little bit, of course. But I thought that was pretty. I think this was 50 cents. They gave me a really good deal. I, it was an estate sale that like the family was just selling the stuff on their own, which is better priced, really, actually, because when you get estate sale people, they really jack the prices up. And I know it gives the family more money, but also the estate sale people take some of the money. So maybe if you do it yourself, you're making about the same. I don't really know about that, but I thought, I felt like this hat was in really good condition and I can throw these in the washer and I kind of have an idea I'm wanting to try. I don't know if I'll actually execute it. <laughs> I was wanting to do hats with like some quilted things on it, with my quilts that are like falling apart but still some spots on them are good so i will share that with you guys when i do do it like it's all in here i just haven't done it yet put it into action so or i may keep this because <laughs> i like camo <laughs> okay i grabbed this really pretty uh crystal i think this is just hobnail uh, butter dish so pretty it's a really good size as well see the bottom um, and this is what the bottom plate looks like. So it's just a good size, but I thought it was just beautiful. Okay, I grabbed this. I don't really know if it's old, but I thought it was pretty. And someone you could even use this to like put utensils in. Um, it says, uh, oh, somebody sent flowers in it, Teleflora. So I'm sure it's not old, but who doesn't love hammered copper with brass handle? I don't really know how much each piece was individually because they kind of did it so fast and the total was only 13 for everything. So I felt like that was a good deal. So I didn't um, argue. <laughs> she was doing some stuff for like 25 cents, 50 cents. And I'm like, yeah, I like those prices, but I like these little um, mug racks and it might try to use them for something different than a mug. I'm not sure yet, but for the price, I just um, picked it up. I don't know, she wrote on it. Maybe somebody gave it to her and that was the date. I don't know, but, or a mug tree, right? Mug tree, I called it a mug rack. It's a mug okay, I tree. grabbed this, is a pastry cutter. It's in really good condition. Like usually the paint is like super chipped on these. And this one is, see if I can lighten it. I'm sorry about the lighting. I just, I can't haul all this in. If I do, I will not do a video. I will just haul it in and start washing it and be done with it. Androck, I think, made in the USA and it has the patent number on it right there. But it's in really good shape. I do not know what they're used for. I was thinking maybe these are like cup measurements. I don't know. I don't know, I, could, I only found three, and I couldn't find, believe that I found three. I thought there was just like one, but then I pulled another one out and it was a different size, and I thought, well, that's fun. And it has a little hole right here so you could put like a string to hold all three of them together. So if you guys know what these are, tell me. I'll probably Google lens it too, but um, I thought they were cute. I'm picking so up cute. wood rulers, and I may stop that eventually because I really haven't sold any rulers yet. But um, I've been seeing, and I'll put a picture up here, um, people for Christmas making stars. And I know I can get that off too. Uh, those dry erase, not dry erase. Um, Mr. Clean, those little white erasers. Oh, I can't think of what they're called. I think you guys know what they're like a white sponge and you can even use them on your baseboards and paint and it takes stuff off. It'll take that off. But um, this is like a different link. So this is 18 inches. I thought that was unique. It was 25 cents. Not sidetracked is they make like the stars out of the rulers for Christmas. So I may try I to do that. this. So I grabbed all of these. Bunch of copper. I may end up 
I don't know. I say I may end up keeping these, but then I may not. This this one is cool. And then there's two sizes of ladles and then a flat one. And they have great patina and then this one. So I got all of these and basically they didn't even charge me for these. And they also have a little hook on the end so you can hang them off of something. So I thought these were cool. Never seen anything like this. All those items I just showed you were $13 total for all of that. It's another yard sale find. I grabbed this book. Let's see if you can see it. It's The Grapes of Wrath, John Steinbeck. Beck, Beck, not back. I thought the spine on it was really cool. It's like got colors on it. I'm sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's got like this burgundy and then the blue and the gold. Just a really cool looking book. Old. And then this one, I grabbed this. I feel like they're trying to cancel out this right here, these folks, and it's sad. Like the Land Lakes and the syrup. And I don't like that. Like these people matter. And I just think it's cool that I can find an old book like this that still has that in it. And I'm hoping that whenever I put it in the booth, someone else will appreciate that too. I love this old, the old um, drawing in here. It's like retro vintage. Oh, it looks like they've cut out some pages. I didn't notice that. That's a bummer. But, oh, I don't know why. That's weird. I didn't notice that. But I think the book cover is cool. California's Yesterdays. This was a dollar. I forgot to say that. The books were a dollar. And I do pick up stuffed animals for the booth because little kids love those and they sell. Not like constantly, but, um, kind of randomly so I like to keep them in there and I thought this rabbit was cute she'll be really cute or he whatever for Easter and of course I wash everything really good and I set it in the sun so nothing smells and uh this is a bull cow so I wasn't gonna get them and then the lady was like they're only 25 cents and I was like okay I'll get them <laughs> so that yard sale I spent 250 yeah the books were a dollar piece yeah so I spent 250 this at that year might so. be one of my favorite finds of the day <laughs> just because of it reminds me of my grandpa um, I got this Wrangler Sherpa line coat okay if you guys know about these coats you know they are so expensive well I mean coats are expensive right but I want to say this is probably like a hundred dollars or more at boot barn and it's in really good condition you can see. Ah, I'm on the struggle bus. Um, yeah, it's in really great shape. And I got it for five dollars, you guys. So I picked this up for my son. I'm hoping it fits him well. And if not, I don't care. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I might end up wearing it. Oversizes in. And I actually love that oversizes in because I love that look, the messy hair oversized clothes I kind of am digging that look <laughs> because I'm such a casual person I just love it so this was really when I seen this I was like oh my goodness and I thought he was gonna charge like a high price because these are so expensive he said five and I was just like okay I never set it down I'm like I'm getting that so I spent six dollars at that yard sale with the jacket and that cabinet it was a dollar and it's solid oak like how could I not get it I figured when I clean it up and probably paint it because it it looks like someone has painted on top of it so it's going to need to be redone i could probably make 20 30 dollars off of it so it was a no-brainer for a dollar yeah i bought it this yard sale i got some cute holiday stuff so i got this bag of the bottle brush trees as you can see i don't even know how many are in there but quite a few. And the reason I got these is because on my last video, I've been buying the milk glass vases to use for the different holidays to decorate with. And I saw them with bottle brush trees inside them and they look so pretty. So I will use this Maybe for that prices on them, but I didn't pay that. Look how cute this is for Easter. Little rabbit in a carrot car. I mean, come on. How cute is that? 
This little cutie little rabbit. She's so cute. And then, of course, I had to get Peter Rabbit. We love Beatrix Potter. This is so adorable. There's no tag or anything on him, but I know this is Peter. <laughs> I almost passed these by, and I picked one of them up, and it started dinging. I was like, oh my word, they're bells. How cute is that? So, they're little, probably carolers. Oh, the lighting. They're in excellent condition. So cute. I'm taking a chance on these. I don't know how well they'll do in the booth. My mom used to have these. Um, she only had these two, but I went ahead and just grabbed them. They actually still have, they still have stuff in them. You come to an antique store for the holiday, you want to get vintage holiday, right? So I grabbed this. It's actually the little tiniest little book you've ever seen. Look at how little. So cute, right? So it says... It's an ornament, but I thought it was so cute. Um, it just says Merry Christmas with a vintage Christmas Santa. And then these looked vintage, so I picked these up. It says Merry Christmas, the visit of Santa Claus. And I'm not a Santa Claus fan. Oh, oh my word, I didn't even notice. They opened, I thought they were just like all one piece. They have paper in them. That's fun. I didn't even know that till now. They have a little bell on the top. Bag of vintage looking Easter. So let me show you these little plaques. Aw, she put the date. The lady, it was an estate sale. The lady had passed away. Um, and I guess she just did a lot of big holiday. So this was one of the pieces. So it says, Joy a joyful Easter. I love the little vintage. This is actually really beautiful ribbon too. I don't know if you guys can see that it's like a silk ribbon it's really pretty and she wrote on the back crescent city june 2005 that's an odd time to buy easter um yeah so she wrote the date on all the back of these and this one cute little vintage it says 2022 on it and then this one oh i love the little rick rack ribbon that's cute so it's the little chicks. So cute. There's no date on that. And then this one. It's another it says Easter greetings. Nothing on that. And I don't really care for this one. I, I'll probably just toss this one. But that was also in there. And then this one. Little vintage bunny, Easter greetings, and they're not old, but they look old. So, um, so that yard sale, everything I just showed you of that holiday stuff, all of that was five dollars for all of that. Brought you to the other side of the truck <laughs> for the last of my items. I grabbed these. These are Apple headphones. <laughs> we have been buying dollar store headphones. And they sound like dollar store headphones. So when I saw these, I was thinking they were gonna charge more. You guys, 50 cents for these. It's in this nice little case. Apple headphones. Like we go through headphones and I think it's because I keep buying the junky ones from the dollar store. But hopefully these will last a lot longer. I was actually gonna get on eBay and order us some good headphones. So this was awesome. 50 cents. The lady just gave me this bell. I can lighten it. It's such a good rusty little patina on it. See, and it sounds good. Of course, I like cowbells because of my grandpa. <laughs> so I got this okay, for so me. Not everything is for the booth. I actually bought this for myself, a crock pot. I have a crock pot almost exactly like this, and it's my favorite one. So I saw this and it was just a single man and you could tell he died. He probably never even used this. They were asking 10 and I offered eight and they took it. So I got this for eight. It came with like this little mini crock pot, little dipping one. It has the lid and the book. I think this is a strap to keep the lid on, which is really cool. So I was, I was really happy because I bought a crock pot 
from Target and it's the hearth and hand one but it does not get as hot as my other one that's that same brand and I've been wanting to find one but I bought mine at Costco years ago and I haven't come across one that hasn't been like disgusting and really used and then I thought well maybe it probably doesn't work right so this one looks brand new so I was so glad to find it so I can get rid of my other one that doesn't get as hot because when I cook for my family with a crock pot I have to have two crock pots because we're feeding so many mouths and so that was a blessing for eight bucks. <laughs> I am so sorry about the lighting. I'll probably try to put a filter on this, but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. Hit that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Give it a thumbs up and you're welcome to comment down below. I love reading your comments. I don't know what I'll be doing on the next video, but we'll both find out together. We'll see you then, bye. Here is one more item that I picked up. It is a storage shelf that I paid $50 for and I bought the exact shelf from Costco and it was about $100 with tax and everything. So I basically got it half off and we needed another shelf.